Hi everyone, my name's Adam. This is my channel, Adam Sews, and this is Friday Sews. So this week has been busy, busy, busy in the sewing room. I have made many a garment and many a thing for tomorrow, which is the knitting and stitching show at Alexandra Palace in London. So I am attending as usual. I will be on the catwalk for Boys So Too and We So Too at 12 o'clock, I believe. It might be one o'clock, it might be two o'clock. Somewhere around that time. I think it might be one. Um, so I have been crazily making things this week in order to have something to actually wear on the runway. And I have a couple of items that aren't in my room at the moment, but I will be wearing them tomorrow. I will update you with those next week once the catwalk is done. And I will try and get some footage of that to insert next week on next week's Friday. So, so what have I been making this week? I have made... Well, I'll talk to you first about what I'm part way through, which are pre-orders. Um, I'm part way through to Caddies. I have started one that is in line work, which is this is the front panel. Um, the rear panel is the same. And then the side long panel with the zip pockets, which will be this way round, are like so. So that one is the line work. It's going to be bound with the black and white stripe. It has hexy handles and it will have these as the internal pockets which is going to be quite pretty i'm really really happy about the way that, that one's coming out and turning out because i really like that line of fabric and i try my best to use the least amount of line work as possible because it is one of my favorite ranges that Tudor's ever done which is why i've got quite a considerable stash of that and still keep adding to it every time it comes up for sale anywhere um the second one that i have um started on is one from moon garden so these are the outer pieces and the outer panel is the bloom and then the inner is this one um that will also have contrast handles which are from the lazy stripe in that range which is this beautiful pink and teal color and that is the caddies that i'm working on at the moment i have got a few more on pre-order and then i am going to Eventually, when I get some time back after doing the stock for the show that I'm doing at NEC in November, I will be restocking a load of Callies on my store. I'm hoping to get at least five back in the store for midway through November. Um, and I will then be focusing more on being able to restock the online part with new stuff. So that's what I've made in terms of caddies and different things and pre-orders and bags, that end of things this week. And then garment wise, I have made two new garments, soon to be three because I'm just about to cut out a third because I actually need a top to wear tomorrow, which is going to be a, I'm going to make a long sleeve t-shirt in this nice black uh, rib, nice black rib jersey that I've got here. So it's just going to be like a lightweight long sleeve t-shirt which I'm just about to cut out, which is why it's dumped over there. Um, and that is what I'm going to wear with these trousers, which are another pair of the Bob trousers. These are from this lovely sort of, um, it's like a drapey, almost like a viscose. Um, I've done the little turn ups on the um, hems on those. It's like a viscose sort of, I'm not sure. So with these ones, I extended... I extended the waistband so it was double height so I could actually put two rows of elastic in there as you can see so it's got one row and then another row and I used one and a half inch elastic in both rows so that it gives me a slightly bigger waistband on those and these I will insert a picture of me a really scruffy picture of me in them with a um, t-shirt on that doesn't go with them at all um so they are going to be worn with the t-shirt that I'm just about to make and I'm going to wear them with my new Dr. Martin Chelsea boots that arrived today, which I actually have on my feet at this moment in time. Um, and I have to say, I have, going off on a bit of a spur of the moment, uh, on a tangent, I have been after a pair of black Chelsea boots for the longest time and I cannot get any that fit, one, two, that aren't, too wide three that don't hurt my feet when i try them on and four that are 
small enough that they don't make my legs look like golf clubs because no one wants golf club legs unless that's what you're into so i have eventually found a pair they are the um dr martin's i would insert a picture of me wearing them next week because i will probably be stomping down the runway in them um so anywho the other thing that i made is the pattern from we so too which is owned by clive bruder and um, it is the very very jazzy packet that is the collider coat pattern which is this is the line drawings for it it is a oversized sort of like wrap round poncho type coat um so it's a great pattern really really fun construction it's a bit like origami you've got like loads of square panels that sort of fit together and stitch in certain places between different darts and different things and it gives you a massive, really snuggly, wearable blanket, basically. So I have gone to town on this one. Um, so basically, as I say, you stitch a load of squares together, which creates the shoulder seam. So I have made this one out of loads of wool offcuts. It's got these ginormous pockets on it and it's got tweed as well on here. So basically the whole point of it is I will insert a video here of me showing you how it sort of looks on. Um, so it's got this big long, I think it's called a go day or something, that is this big section on the front that sort of swings up and over your shoulder um, to sort of create some sort of closure on it. It is so comfy, it's literally like wearing a blanket. Um, so if you haven't seen that pattern i will link it below um it's available in pdf and it's also available in a printed format it is slightly more expensive than most of the other patterns that you would find on pdf because it takes up so much paper in order to print it because it is um the pattern pieces are really large um which is the reason why it's cost slightly more to buy the pattern because it costs a hell of a lot more money to actually produce the pattern but there you go you could print it if you wanted to on PDF, but it would take about 7,000 pages probably and no one's got time to be sticking that amount of pages together. Um, but you could send it to a print shop and it is a great pattern. I think I might make another one from like a really nice, thick, heavyweight black wool. I think it would look super smart over a pair of jeans and my black Chelsea boots. Um, so that might be my win to make. I'm going to see if I can get hold of some nice black, maybe some boucle wool or something, which would be really pretty. Um, so that is another thing that I'm going to be wearing because it is part of the Reduce, Reuse, Recycle um, theme of Tomorrow's Runway at Alexandra Palace. Um, so because of that, I have used all of my scraps and some of which have been donated to me from different people. So the coat itself has actually cost me nothing to make because some of the wool came from a charity shop, some of it was gifted to me, some of it is left over from other projects, and some of it came in a huge d stash pattern haul that I got ages and ages and ages ago, which is actually where the fabric from my other pair of bob trousers, which I made for my collab earlier this week, which if you go onto my YouTube channel, you can see that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, and yeah, so that I think I can quite happily say that is reduce, reuse, recycle in a sense because it's recycling lots of things that I never really paid for and it's given me a really cool coat so I'm really happy with that um that is all I've made this week I think I'm just looking around and I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have made I haven't made anything else I haven't made anything else I don't think I have no I have however had some very exciting things turn up so wh while we're on the we so to boy so to Bandwagon, the new thread collection arrived this week, which is the We Sew 2 Aurifil thread collection. It is being curated by Clive from um, We Sew 2 and Boys Sew 2, and it is make, it's the Mend, Make, Recreate collection. So basically, it is, let me open this end because I opened the wrong end and broke the actual box. So this is the threads that come in here. So it's like a perfect rainbow of every Aurifil thread you could ever need. Two of them, the yellow and the variegated blue here, are both, um, are they 28 weight? Yeah, they're, so they're 28 weight. So they're really, really strong. So they're really, really good for visible mending and different things like that. The green are all 40 weight, which is really good for garment construction. The, fifth, uh, the 50 weight here, the orange, um, it's really good for quilting. So it's a really, really good set. As an actual collection, 
they are really perfect because they give you a, a full range of colour. You've got a decent amount of neutrals as well in there. And it means that you've actually got um, a variety of different weights as well, which is rare for Aurifil. They don't normally, as a company, sell many sets that have multiple um, weights in them. So it's quite a good one. And the other thing that turned up this week is this adorable little charm pack, which I got from a lovely lady that I have actually made bags for in the past. And she was doing a little de-stash on a Facebook page that I saw. And I have a little obsession now with collecting, as you can see, right here in the corner. I've got a thing about collecting charm packs because it's almost a bit like picking, it's like collecting pick and mix sweets or something. They're so cute and small. I can't help but keep them. So they will be going on there with my other little collection of them. And I think I might have a little bit of a problem with charm packs and mini charms because I don't use them because they look too pretty. And on that note, I shall see you all very soon. I hope to see some of you tomorrow at Ali Pally. If you see me and you want to say hi, just shout me. I am there to be spoken to if you want to say hi. I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend. Bye bye.